Morning, guys. I think everybody's in. Yeah, we'll get cracking. So, welcome to this morning's media conference, guys, um, to preview the men's under 21s game against Slovenia tomorrow evening. Um, we'll start with Lee and then we'll have a quick change afterwards and go to Mark. Um, but, but as usual, we'll start with a, a live section, um, the Sky and the others, and then we'll move into an embargoed section until 10 30 tomorrow evening. So, we can get cracking. We'll start with JD from Sky for the live section. Uh, good morning, Lee, first of all. Hey there, how are you, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Um, a great start against Kosovo. It was always good to start with a win in any group. Um, I think the immediate question is now two difficult away games. So does the attention or does the mentality switch now as you go, of course, into Slovenia and Andorra? I think, I think you've, just, um, you've just said exactly what, what we were thinking uh, when we were planning the camp and over the two games. It's, it's all about mentality. Uh, making sure that we are, first and foremost, we can match uh, the opposition that we play against. Um, we, we, you know, we know that we've got the ability within the squad, but that mentality, that wanting to win, wanting to outrun uh, your opponent, um, wanting to make, um, make things difficult for the opposition. You know, we've, we've spoke about how attacking we want to play, um, but the, the, you know, the mentality is a big thing. Um, last time here as, as 21s, you know, we drew 2-2, two -two, so we know that Slovenia are a tough team. Uh, I remember how excited they were to get a draw after the game. So, you know, I've made the players aware that uh, every every opposition that plays against England want to want to get one over on on England. And, um, you know, I've, I've made them aware of that. So, like, like you said at the start, mentality is, is a big thing um, for us. I remember um, that draw that you're talking about in particular and, and the reaction of the Slovenia players in particular yeah. as well. Um, how do you now, because you understand every single level in terms of within this youth system, how do you now prepare the players for the expectations, as you just said, that everybody does want to try and get a result against England? Yeah, well, it's, it's first and foremost, it's making sure that we concentrate on ourselves, making sure that we're organised, that, that they understand um, how we're going to attack and how we're going to defend. And then, uh, like you say, the, uh, the, the the mental preparation, you know, we're constantly rem reminders, not, not just myself, but Ashley, Jolien, uh, Tim. Uh, the video footage that we're showing them, you know, they'll be uh, they'll be fully aware of what the what the opposition are capable of. But you know, eighty percent of our preparation is is always done on on ourselves and making sure that we can impose our style, uh, our physicality and our mentality on the opposition. So, um, like you say, two tough games, but two two games that we're we're really looking forward to. How have the new boys settled in? I mean, there's so many to list off now. Um, it's, it's exciting because, as you said at the beginning, this is a, yeah. a new generation and a new start. But Levi, Carl, Joe and Angel as well, how have they just all settled into the process and obviously the squad as well? Yeah, well, we, we, we obviously lost um, Levi and, uh, and Nani um, early early after after the call-ups. They were both carrying, carrying injuries. Um, the lads that replaced them, Clinton Mola and... Uh, Joe Galdar have, have done really well, fitted in, fitted in excellently, um, coming up from the under twenties, which is obviously one of the benefits of the nineteens, twenties, and twenty ones and seniors all being at St George's is that we can move players in between uh, the age groups. Um, been really impressed with them, and I mean, you spoke the other day about Angel as well. You've seen his, you've seen his quality, and no surprises there that he's come straight into the group and and being able to impose himself on the group. He stands out. He's an excellent player, and it's you know it's really good to. To have him back, and I think we're we're lucky as well that we've got, you know, when you think that Angel um, potentially, if if everyone's fit, he's still on standby or still not in the squad. To have that that kind of quality available to us is um, is exciting. Just touching on Angel, would just be my final question. I just wanted to know how he's been settled in. I know he's spoken very openly about um, the move away from Manchester United and how he was. Um, excited to be back into the sort of the English fold at youth level, but um, yeah. just the words that you said to him as you go into these final couple of games now. Well, it was it's been um, it's been really good to to catch up with him. Like I like I spoke about um, a while back, I've I've seen him um, quite a bit when I was doing the doing the city city 18s playing against Manchester United, and and to, you know now to talk about like the experiences that he's had off the pitch, moving to a different country, getting sent out straight on loan, and and, and coping with that. You know, tells you a lot about his character. We all know that he's got that that ability, but what sometimes we don't see is that mentality and the character that the players have got. And you know, he's got that in abundance. And it's uh, like I say, I think we're we're very lucky to have him. Lee, uh, good luck as always, and I'm sure we'll catch Thank up you. post match. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. Thanks, JD. Can I ask if anyone who wants to ask a question in the live section can raise their virtual hand now? Um, Nick. Yeah, just hi, Lee. You okay? Hi, Nick. You all right? All right. Thank you. Yeah, just a quick one. I mean, you mentioned that. Um, Teams are 
and was about to get England, so to speak. I just wondered sort of how big a scalp do you think England are at this level? Well, I think that, I think that like you say, I think it's not just that, you know, I've, I've noticed this since, since I've been uh, a coach for the international team, with, whether it's with the 19s, the 20s or, or the 21s. Um, you know, we, we watch a lot of footage of the opposition. We watch the way that they play and the systems that they play. And they very usually play the same system when they face England. There's always a, a tactical change. Um, there's always that extra 5 or 10% in terms of uh, it's a good showcase to show European teams potentially that, that they can cope at that level. So um, one, of the, one of the big things that I, I'm really, um, I try and bang the drum about is that mentality, is that one wanted to, not not only win but just getting used to competing every single day and not just with uh, with England as well these these um, these players that are trying to forge careers um, at their clubs have to get used to that competition and competing day in day out and you know it's no different when you when you come away with England the the standard and the level of training uh, and um, you know we do small side games or a bit of match preparation they are they are a very, very high level so it's um, it's making sure that we um, we work on that that side of the game, that mentality. And, and it's always been an important um, thing, anyway. But the ma- the maturity of the players, especially at a young age, we've spoken to to Angel and, and Tino yeah. this week, um, and Tino especially for somebody who's kind of been thrust into the spotlight really over the last kind of two or three months. Just just how impressed have you been with kind of the, the squad's maturity, really, given that. Um, some of them haven't really kind of experienced this before. Yeah, I, th- I think it's it, it's testament to a lot of the clubs that they come from in terms of the academy system. They get a lot of support, um, not only with their, their technical, the tactical, their, their physical, but they like a, and I keep keep saying about them, the mentality and their um, they're very they're very emotionally in control of their you know they're doing so well uh, at the minute a lot of them, but they're they're very level headed and they want to improve and they want to they want to be the best that they can and, and I think a lot of that has got to do with the clubs that they've come from, they've had a real good good grounding and a good foundation. And, and like I say, it's important from an international point of view that we continue that support and that um, that journey that they're on and, and make sure we're, that we're part of that. Thanks. Cheers, Cheers Nick. Um, Alan Smith from Football London. Hi, Lee. Um, can I just quickly ask if there's any other injury concerns ahead of the game tomorrow, if, if everyone's fit? Yeah, so um, Josh Griffiths... Um, Went home yesterday. The goal, goalkeeper has been replaced by Carl Rushworth. Um, Josh had a had a had a problem uh, at the end of training with with his his thumb. Um, so we've just uh, replaced him with Carl. So it's great 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 opportunity for Carl. Josh was doing very well as well uh, in training in, in the in the camp and been really really impressed with his attitude. And and Carl comes in um, on loan at Walsall at the minute. He's playing very well for Walsall. So it's a great opportunity for him. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. I can see Ian from TalkSports just joined. So, Ian, did you want to round off the live section before we move into the embargo bit? Yeah, sorry. I clicked on the wrong link. I'm only, I'm only used to getting one link at a time. Uh, no worries. How are you, Lee? You right? How's it going? You okay? Yeah, not too bad. How much of a disruption has it been? Uh, by the way, I apologise for any duplicated questions. Um, how much of a disruption has it been having to bring a few players in and lose a few players already from this, this international camp? I, th- I think it's it's um, it's it's not been that disruptive to be honest. I think it's it's something that as a from from an international point of view that you're used to doing. Um, you know, if if you're at a club and you're taking the under 23s, you know, you're constantly losing players to the seniors. So uh, off, hopefully that 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 then bumps up the under 18s at, at club level. So it's something that we're used to. Um, we're quite lucky in the fact that the players on standby or around the outside of the squad are at, at such a high level that. You know, with it, when we do make changes or players do get replaced, it's not such a um, a massive thing. So um, it's something that, like I say, uh, at international level, that we're, we're used to used to dealing with. Well, it obviously would have been easier though in these current times if the games have been at home rather than away. I think it's just it's just the way that the calendar works out. Again, from a from an experience point of view, um, you know, you see you see what the seniors have had to go through uh, over the last uh, couple of windows that. Traveling, preparation, different hotel, um, different weather. It's it's something that they have to get used to in terms of um, playing at international football, as well as uh, putting their club form and, and position, uh, you know, to the side for for ten days and, and get the full concentration on on what we're doing. It's like I say, it's it's part of their de- development. 
we often worry but wonder about this with, with seniors, but what about with under 21? Do you, do you get club managers saying, listen, my players already played seven or eight games this season. You know, if you don't need to play them in both, or do you, is it not about managing game time for you? It's just about winning two foot matches. No, I think I think what we're always, you know, I, I think if we were waiting for a for a manager or a coach to ring us up to to advise us on minutes that the players should be playing, I don't think we'd be doing our jobs. We 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 track the players completely from uh, the minute they they leave us to the minute that they they come back into camp. We know exactly their match minutes, their intensity that they're playing at, their games program that they've come from, the games program that they're going back to. So, you know, part of the part of the role is for, as an international coach is making sure that we uh, we send the players back in, in good condition, hopefully. There's nothing worse than, you know, I, I've had a couple of experiences so far where, you know, you, you lose a player on camp and they get injured. It's not a good feeling because, you know, we want the players to play for their clubs and we want them to do well for their clubs. And, you know, coming away from uh, their clubs and playing for England should should be part of the journey rather than rather than harming them. So hopefully I think we're um, we're doing a good job in that respect. Because there, there was that letter or that, that study from FIPRO, wasn't it, yesterday or the day before, saying that players shouldn't be playing too many games within five days. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, didn't see that report, no. I didn't see, didn't see that one. Fair enough. Um, finally, obviously, we'd be expected to win these two games. They're both tough games. Um, you know, our, our last two games against Slovenia and Andorra, we've drawn 2-2 and drawn 3-3, so... Um, I've made the players aware of that, that, you know, if that we are not quite at the races or a little bit off it, you know, potentially it's going to be a bumpy night. So, um, but building on the last uh, camp, building on the last performance, I, ex- I expect this team to, and this squad to get better and stronger every, every game. So it's, it's an exciting group to work with. I, I really like the, the mentality of the group. Uh, they're very focused, um, you know, watching them play for their clubs as well. It's, um, you know, we're, we're in a really lucky position that we've got such, such so talent available to us, and um, now it's it's all about mentality and attitude, and making sure that we are we we can outwork the opposition, and and our quality will will then shine through. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. Cheers, Ian. That rounds up the live section, so um, we'll move into the inbox.